in a couple days, me and my husband are going to be heading off to Germany for a Dog Brothers gathering and seminar, the European gathering. The gathering is going to be on Saturday and Sunday in Hanover. The fights will be from about 11 a.m. until about 3 p.m. and then we'll have a little break and then after that we're going to have a seminar in the evening with Guru Lonely Dog and Guru Crafty Dog. So that'll be really cool. We're both really excited. My husband's going to fight. I'm not going to fight, but I'm very excited about the seminar itself because I am going to partake in that and that's going to be really, really awesome. So I thought I would make a video talking about it. Hi guys. I am home from my trip to Germany for the Dog Brothers Gathering of the Pack. This is the open gathering. There is another gathering that is in Switzerland. That one is probably the tribal gathering. Um, and I wanted to show off my sweet shirt that I got there. Uh, so the gathering itself was two days, Saturday and Sunday. In the morning there was the fighting and in the afternoon, eve early evening, there was the seminar. I went primarily for the seminar and also because my husband is gonna fight, but I didn't fight myself. So I was really, really excited about the seminars because there is a very rare chance to train with Guru Lonely Dog and this was one such rare opportunity as someone in the US. He's not out here very often, so there's not a lot of opportunities to train with him as an American. So I was very excited to get to do that. Very, very awesome. So the seminars were really neat. They sort of catered it around what they saw in the fighting based on techniques they saw fail or situations they saw people have a difficult time getting out of. And I thought that was really neat and also very, very helpful, of course, to the fighters. So the first day, Saturday, was Guru Crafty. Um, that is Mark Denny, who's sort of one of the founders of the Dog Brothers and sort of the head of the organization now. Um, he covered some ground grappling stuff with Stick. That was very neat, very interesting. And then on the second day with Guru Lonely Dog, um, he covered some like clench stuff and how to get out of difficult situations that a lot of people were fighting in. And also he went over uh, takedown. Uh, the takedown that most people seem to use is actually not entirely very safe, uh, especially with sticks. Uh, not safe for you, not safe for them, and it doesn't have a very super high success rate. Uh, I think a lot of people do it because it's very good in BJJ, but of course once you have weaponry involved, it might not, not necessarily be as good. So he showed a new technique for people to use and you know explained why the other one was uh, inferior and why you should practice this one and gave some different variables to do it with. So it was very, very cool. I really enjoyed the seminar. Again, it was geared towards the fighters to help them and hopefully it was actually very helpful to my husband. Um, but I still got a lot out of it and I'm still pretty excited when I came back. So about the gathering itself, the fighting, I could not take video or photos. Um, they didn't allow it like in the US, which of course I respected. So I don't have any cool photos or videos to show you. They will probably be up on the Dog Brothers Association or on Guru Lonely's YouTube channel. They do usually do a highlight reel clip and I would recommend checking that out when it comes up because it's usually pretty awesome. There were over 70 fighters, which is kind of insane. I thought the open gathering in the US in September was had a lot with 52, but yeah, he actually had to cap the number because people were signing up more than he thought we would have time for. Uh, the awesome thing for me was there were like seven lady fighters signed up, uh, which is super, super rare. We don't have that in the US. There are a few US dog brothers who are women, but they mostly fight in the tribal and um, sometimes in the open, you'll see one or two, but not a lot. So if I ever did want to fight, it seems like going to Europe is the best way to do that because the rules are, you know, women can only stick fight other women. You can do knife and sword and stuff, but, uh, you know, that's a little more limiting. So that was very cool. All the women fighters there were really good. I got to talk to one of them a lot. Her dog name is Psycho Bitch, which is fucking awesome. She got the best name. No other woman fighter can ever top that. I'm very jealous, um, but she was very nice and uh, I got to talk with her a lot. But yeah, that was really cool. There was a huge range of experience. There were a lot of people there who were there for their first gathering and their first fight, and that was very cool. And then there were a lot of people who are full dog brothers and of course everything in between. And on top of that, lots of skill sets. There's lots of people who train in multiple arts, have a lot of experience in judo or BJJ or boxing or wrestling. Um, there were some HEMA guys, stuff like that. So that was really cool, bringing a lot of different skill sets to the table. And it was a very diverse group in terms of nationalities, which of course makes sense because it's Europe, but there were guys from Germany, from France, from Switzerland. Uh, there was a guy from Copenhagen, from Spain. There was a group from Italy, Greece, Russia. Of course, us from America, there were guys from the UK, from England and Scotland. Um, so that was very cool. Uh, there were also some neat weapons configurations that we saw. We saw a nunchuck fight. We saw at least one staff fight. 
we saw some fights with my socks, one with double, and then one with uh, one on one hand and then a stick in the other hand. Um, that was super cool. There was a whip fight. Thank you for that awesome experience, Pascal and Kane, because that was one of my favorite fights from the gathering. Uh, there were a lot of buckler fights, um, you know, blade and buckler and, and stick and buckler. But there was a lot of blade stuff in general, uh, more than I have seen in any of the US Open gatherings that I've been to. So my husband got promoted to the tribe. He is now dog map, uh, which is the first level. And then after that, you get candidate, whatever your dog name is that you pick. And then after that, your, your dog name, your full dog brother. So that was very cool. He was very excited. In his perspective, he didn't have the best day of fighting. Saturday was a little bit of a rough day for him. You know, his first fight, all, all his uh, hits were coming up short. And then he was sort of out of his groove for the later ones. Both his wrists were hurt, but one of his wrists was really, really swollen, like the thickness of his elbow. And, you know, he couldn't hold the stick and he couldn't move it at all because the swelling was just holding everything so tight. And one of his toes got crushed somehow. There was no toe smash. We would have remembered that. Uh, so it must have been a kick or someone stepped on it or when they went to the ground or something, but it's swollen and purple and the nails black and going to fall off and, you know, disgusting. So he was a little bummed about that just, just because, you know, having a, having a bad day and off day is like, you know, never fun anyway, especially when you've traveled all the way across the world. And also he was like, well, now I'm not going to be able to fight on Sunday. Um, but one of the French guys approached him. It was his first gathering and his first fight. And he had talked to my husband the day before and liked him. And he's like, you know what? You seem cool for my first fight. I'd really like to fight you. So he fought with the buckler, covering, protecting his hurt wrist. That fight was really good. It was really interesting. Had an awesome sweep at the end and they went to the ground and it was, it was a good fight. I'm glad he did that fight, you know, so he would be less bummed about how Saturday went. Um, you know, and Saturday was not bad, but you know, Everybody has good days and bad days, so, um, but Sunday was good, so I ended on a high note, and then of course he got the promotion, which was really awesome, and he was so thankful. The whole thing was really cool, it was really awesome. You know, I would like to come back, and if I do ever fight, you know, that, that would definitely be the place, because they have a lot of, a lot of ladies for me to match up with, and they are terrifying and very good, but, you know, that makes you learn more. The challenges is what uh, what makes your skill grow. So overall, it was really cool. The gathering was cool. The seminar was cool. Um, it was my first time in Germany, although I've been to Europe a number of times. Um, so that was awesome. Next time, I would really like to go to the Switzerland gathering. I've never been to Switzerland, so that seems neat to me. So anyway, I thought I would just throw up this video and let you know how it went and my experience there and I'll see you next video. Thanks, guys.